Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. In this example, we will be able to see how if the power is constant in power invariant and uh, how it is variable or it changed in power variant okay so let's see this example so if you remember from the previous example is that we have three phase the same values i a i max cosine omega t i b i max cosine omega t minus 120 i max cosine omega t plus 120 and by using the power invariant transformation in which we will have power is constant before and after transformation we obtain that the magnitude of id is different from i max of the phase uh, we found it it is a line to line rms as you can see here and iq equal to zero now what we would like to do is that prove that that the active power here is the same after this transformation after we did the power invariant prove that it is power invariant okay and in this assume that the power factor is unity cosine phi is equal to one which means that the apparent power is equal to active power so what are we going to do number one i'm going to get active power in the three phase system and compute the active power in the dq frame and compare them with each other to prove that they are unity or they are equal to each other so if you remember from the uh, basics of electric circuits or electric circuits course we know that active power in a three phase system is equal to three since we have a three phase multiplied by the voltage v phase rms the phase rms voltage multiplied by the phase rms current multiplied by cosine phi which is our power factor right okay now if we do this for this example here it will be like this so we will have power will be equal to 3 vrms irms cosine phi will be equal to one since the power factor is unity it means that the current and voltage are in phase now vrms is simply equal to what equal to v max divided by root 2 right so if we take v max and divide it by root 2 you will get vrms and irms is simply equal to i max divided by root 2 same as before for a sine waves or a cosine waves or a sinusoidal waves so this is exactly what i did is that vrms v max over root 2 irms i max over root 2 if you do this it will be 3 over 2 v max i max so our power is 1.5 v max i max and this is a real active power in case of this three phase system let's do the same for the dq frame how can i do this simply we know that the s or apparent power is equal to voltage total voltage multiplied by the current conjugate so in the reference frame we had our vector vbcc or the voltage in general the um f resultant or the resultant uh, three phase rotating vector will be equal to vd plus j vq right a component in direct axis a component on q axis and between them j which is a 90 degree shift like this vq vd and vq similarly we will have it like this id and uh, i q right so our current will be also i d plus j i q 
So what I'm going with that we will take this voltage which is VD plus JVQ multiplied by the current conjugate. Conjugate means that we will reverse the sign of J or the imaginary part. So it will be ID minus JIQ. If you do the multiplication of these two, you will get a real part and imaginary part. This one representing active real component active power in DQ frame. And this representing reactive power in DQ frame. So these equations are used in electrical power system. So we know that active power 3 VRMS IRMS cosine phi and for reactive power it would be 3 VRMS IRMS sine phi. Now what we are concerned with in, th in this example is that we compare active power. So we know active power in a 3 phase 3 over 2 V max I max. Now we have this equation. Now let's this is active power in DQ frame. L let's take this one. So what you will see is that, that the active power equal VD ID plus VQ IQ. So this will be equal to you know that IQ is equal to zero, right? So this part will be equal to zero. So we have only VD ID. Now what is the value of VD? VD is exactly like ID because we have the same transformation, same um, same uh, Park transformation or Clark Park transformation or Park Clark transformation, whatever you would like to say it. Okay. So this transformation, we have they are the same for current and voltage. That's why ID is, as you can see here, root 3 over 2 I max. And VD is the same, root 3 over 2 V max. Okay. As you can see here. So by substituting it here, you'll see root 3 over 2 V max, root 3 over 2 I max. Multiplying it to other, it will be 1.5 v max i max so as you can see active power here is exactly equal to the active power in the three phase in three phase frame and in the rotating frame or in the dq frame which means that the power is invariant it didn't change at all that's why this transformation is called power invariant the power is the same but as you can see the magnitude is different id had this magnitude ia has this magnitude i max maximum value of course okay i max root 3 over 2 i max we are comparing peak values okay so you can see that the power is the same after using the power invariant transformation now the second equation what will happen if we use a power variant transformation if the power variant tr transformation was used and how can you solve this problem okay so number one when we use power variant the magnitude of id will be exactly equal to the peak value of ia you can see ia has a big value im so id will be im and iq it will be as it is zero if you do the same transformation of the uh, power variant okay two over uh, root two uh, two over three okay here two over three in the uh, park transformation or in the clark park transformation okay vd will be v max and vq in this case will be equal to zero so what you will see is right now so if the power transformation is used the magnitude of voltage and the current will be the same as big value so id will be i max and vd will be v max okay so if we try to get the value of the power in this case it will be like this vd id vq iq and this is equal to zero as before so vd id as you can see it will be v max multiplied by i max which will be v max uh, i max right vd v max id i max so it will be v max i max and if you remember from before that the power in this slide 
power of the three phase is three over two V max. So that's why here you can see that using power variant, the transformation or the magnitude of voltages and the current is equal to the peak values. We preserve the magnitude. However, the power is different. You can see that B of the three phase frame ABC equal to 1.5 uh, Vmax Imax. Using power variant, power in DQ frame is equal to Vmax Imax as you can see here. So you can see that they are not equal to each other as we said before. So how can you solve this problem? Solving this problem is that when you calculate DQ power using this one, just multiply by 1.5 or 3 over 2. So you'll see that the power is not equal to the three phase power. That's why to solve this problem, we multiply the active power term by 1.5 or the apparent power in general by 1.5. So the equation for uh, power variant transformation is 3 over 2 VDID plus VQIQ. Okay, now uh, this is for our example. Now let's uh, let me show you an example in a research paper which I published before in Energy Journal uh, about transient stability improvement of a wave energy conversion systems connected to power grid using an anti wind good optimization stretch. So in this paper, what I would like to show you exactly is the power. So in this, um, this is a linear permanent magnet uh, synchronous generator. And in this one, we use the DQ frame transformation for the vector control. Now, uh, controlling the generator itself. So now if you get back down here, you will find that in order to change it from ABC frame to DQ frame, you will see 2 over 3 cosine, sine, and half. This transformation is what exactly, if you remember, 2 over 3. This is a Clark Park transformation, which is used to convert ABC into DQ0 frame. I will leave you this paper also in the files of the course. Now, the 2 over 3, if you remember, as we said, we said in the course, 2 over 3 is a power variant transformation which means that VD and VQ will be equal to Vmax, right? Their magnitude will be equal to Vmax after transformation, okay? Okay, but now as you can see here, what I would like to say is that 2 over 3 is power variant transformation, right? Which means power is not the same after transformation. That's why if you get down in here inside this paper, you'll find that the power or active power is VDID, VQIQ, the same which we have done before. However, you will see that since we used the power variant form, 2 over 3, we added here the 1.5 which I discussed before. Similarly here, P1.5 Omega IQ Epsi. It doesn't matter where did we get this, the most important part is where this coefficient or this magnitude came from you'll find three over two a lot in the research paper so i hope you now understand where did we get three over two three over two because we used the power variant transformation if we used root two over three you wouldn't need the 1.5 thank you for watching this lesson I would like to invite you to our academy, Khadija Academy Premium uh, Membership, which will help you learn more about electrical engineering. In this academy or in the academy membership, you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass, electrical engineering basics, uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations. For example, we have electrical design, we have courses on electric circuits, power electronics, ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You can uh, join our membership for 
just a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new course that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers magnetic circuits machines uh, power electronics uh, load estimation lighting design lightning also design earthing system cables uh, generators um, like current systems or low current systems uh, of grid design on grid design very very lot <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics